Hi guys, welcome to the Saucy Chef's channel today. So today I'm going to show you how to make um, meatballs in a spicy tomato sauce. Um, traditionally here in Spain, they are served usually in a terracotta bowl uh, together with a selection of tapas, but you can turn this dish into a main course by just adding some spaghetti and, and serving it like that, okay? So I'm going to show you the Spanish way today. So what you'll need for the meatballs themselves are about a kilo of mince. This mince here is a mixture of pork and beef mince. You can use 100% beef, 100% pork or 50-50. I prefer the 50-50. You will need one egg, half a chopped onion, two cloves of crushed garlic, um, one and a half teaspoons of salt and one and a half teaspoons of ground black pepper. For the sauce, you're going to need about 800 grams of blended tomato or tomato passata or something similar. Together with two teaspoons of basil, a small cup of stock. I've used vegetable stock here, but you can use something else. I think you don't need the meat flavours in the sauce so much because you get that from the meatballs themselves. So I've used vegetable stock here. One teaspoon of chilies and um, two tablespoons of white wine. Okay, so... I'm going to make mine today in a food processor. Um, if you don't have one, it's possible to make this recipe without. But what you would need to make sure you do is that you grate the onion and the garlic is crushed before you start the process. It won't be the same consistency as having done in a food processor, but they're still really, really nice. Okay, so the first thing to do is put the egg in together with the chopped onion and the garlic. If you do it a different way round then, and you put the meat in at the same time, throw everything in together, it doesn't process quite the same. So we'll put these in first of all and make sure we get them to a very blended consistency. can add the salt and the pepper at this stage. Okay, that's fine. And what the onion does is add quite a lot of moisture to uh, the meatballs. You can do it without, but honestly, it makes a difference if you actually um, add the onion to, to the meatball mix. So now I'm putting the um, mince, mince into the blender, like so. And then we'll switch it on again. This is enough, by the way, to serve a good family of four, even six if there's little ones in the family. Just stop halfway through and make sure everything is being blended together properly. So you need to probably move the meat around in the food processor to make sure it's all being mixed up thoroughly. Again, repeat the process. This is all doing great. Now it's starting to blend together very well. Just one more blast in the blender. Okay, 
made. Now that's blended together really, really well. So the next stage in the process is we're going to put the um, meat out onto a floured board and we're going to roll the meat into meatballs. And then the way we do it here is we partly cut them in a frying pan to brown them off slightly. Then we put them into a terracotta bowl covered with the sauce and then I sprinkle some cheese on top and bake them in the oven. The oven needs to be preheated to about 180. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. So that's the oven on. So here on a flour board, we bring out the meat. And you can do them one by one rather than putting the whole meat on the work surface to start with. We'll do them one by one. So about a good tablespoon of the meat rolled into a ball, like so. In fact, I think I'll have them slightly smaller than that. It's, they, they cook through a lot better if they're a little bit smaller. So you want that sort of size. So you repeat the process as you're going through and when we have all the meatballs rolled, I'll come back to you in a few minutes, okay? Okay guys, so as you can see now, I've um, made all the um, processed meat into meatballs. I've actually got about 24 here, so that would be six per person, which is, is about right. So heating in this pan now here, I have three tablespoons of olive oil. And so we're going to put the meatballs into the olive oil. If you're going to serve these as a main course with spaghetti, they will need to be fully cooked through um, on, the top of your, on the top of your stove. The way we do it here in Spain is they're partly cooked on top just to seal them and then they're baked in the oven in the sauce with cheese on top for about 20 minutes. So we'll probably get half the amount in straight away and they need to be regularly turned to make sure that they're sealed all the way around. And then um, whilst these are cooking, I'll see you in a few minutes and show you what they look like um, as we finish cooking them in the pan on the stove. See you in a sec. Okay guys, so I've been cooking the meatballs now for a few minutes, regularly turning them. They're not completely cooked through, but that's what I want because the remaining cooking goes on in the oven. So we put about six of these into a terracotta bowl. Or, if you're doing it like a, a, a meatball with spaghetti, then they can be um, put in the, in the sauce and, and completely cooked. Okay, so the rest I'm just going to put on one side now. Okay, and then I'm going to put the second half into the pan and whilst they're cooking, I'm going to show you how to um, make the sauce. Okay, so these are going to go in now. So if you start heating a sauce pan, okay, to which we then add the tomatoes. Start bringing those to heat and then we add the stock followed by the basil, the white wine, and the ground chilies. Chilies aren't absolutely necessary to have in this recipe, just if you like a little bit of a kick to your food then. Um, it, it, does, uh, it does add a nice kick, so it's up to you whether you want to add those or not. So just bringing that up to heat. So we'll start to turn the meatballs. Such a flavoursome recipe. A lot nicer than buying ready done meatballs, honestly. I know it's a little bit of faffing around, but it's really worth the trouble. And the egg helps to bind them together as well, so it is important to make sure the egg goes into the mix. There we 
we go, they're all turned. So we come back to the sauce now. And what we want to do is check this for seasoning as it comes to heat. So I'll just grab a spoon here. Give this a quick check. Oh, that's really, really yummy. Honestly, lovely. So we repeat the, the same process for the rest of the meatballs. You can either serve them um, like this in the terracotta bowl or you can do it with um, spaghetti. So what we do now is we pour the sauce over the meatballs like so. And then we sprinkle it with some grated cheese. And then they go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, preheated to 180 degrees. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so the meatballs have been cooking now for about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm just going to take them out and see where we're up to with them. Whoa, they're looking fab. Just look at those guys. Let me just test the fully cooked through. There they are. Just look how delicious they taste. Let me just have a little try. Probably be very hot, but... Absolutely yummy. Oh, just delicious. So... Give them a try guys, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed watching the video today, please like and share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon.